Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah on a break. The Minister of Housing, Basim bin Yagoub Al Hamar, affirmed that the size of accomplishment in the city of East had reached 88%, indicating that the number of ready units which were distributed to the beneficiaries amounted to 1,770 housing units, as well as 1,008 housing units within the final stages of delivery and distribution to the beneficiaries. This achievement comes within the plan to provide 25,000 new housing units that were approved in the program's 2019-2022 work program. The Minister of Housing expressed pride in the royal support of the housing progress in the Kingdom of Bahrain, stressing that the completion of five new cities in Bahrain, including East Head City, would not have been achieved without the support of the government headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also noted that the allocation of housing units within the East Head City project, which amounted to 496, and were distributed to the beneficiaries, bringing the construction and utilization rate of these units to about 50%, as the construction process was actually started by the citizens of the Umm al Shajarif neighborhood. The Minister of Housing noted that the East Head City project also includes 1,600 uh, condominiums, of uh, which 520 have been offered to start implementation within a recent awarded tender. Now, the tender for the second phase of this project will be offered to include an additional 520 apartments during the last quarter of 2021. The Minister of Housing concluded his statement by affirming the ministry's keenness to meet the largest number of housing requests by providing various housing services to the beneficiaries and finding the best initiatives in a way that enhances the means of stability for citizens. Is Mashi King Hamad's project for future schools at the Ministry of Education implemented 11 training programs remotely that dealt with the latest practices in the field of integrating technology in education and administrative empowerment to benefit a group of educational technology specialists, managers, assistant directors, and teachers. The training programs varied in terms of training on the latest techniques of integrating technology into education, strategies for integrating Microsoft software in education, digital management, as well as the introduction of a program to prepare newcomers of educational technology specialists in schools. Participants praised the training courses, stressing that the training workshops provided by His Majesty King Hamad Project for Future Schools are the cornerstones of the infrastructure for digital empowerment in education and the development of modern technological skills for teaching strategies. In addition to applying most of the workshops to students, teachers and parents and facilitating the education process for students with special needs. During a meeting between the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil bin Abdurrahman al Asumi, with the Secretary General of the Interparliamentarian Union, IPU, Martin Shonging, Mr. Martin expressed his personal appreciation for the great role played by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and his efforts to uphold the values of tolerance, coexistence, and equality between members of the society. IPU Secretary General Martin Shonging has commended Bahrain for its numerous achievements in parliamentary action, thanks to to the attention and patronage of his master King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who established robust foundations to make popular participation for the basis of governance. Shang Gong praised Bahrain's advanced status thanks to His Majesty the King's support in strengthening and empowering tools and mechanisms for parliamentary work to serve Bahrainis, which makes the Bahraini experience admired by everyone, particularly in its use of parliamentary diplomacy as a real channel of communication. For his part, al Asumi hails His Majesty the King's efforts and interest in Arab issues and praised his comprehensive development process that strengthened the status of Bahrain and the Arab regional and international levels. The International Air Transport Association, IATA or IATA, is uh, partnering with the Kingdom of Bahrain and uh, Gulf Air, the national carrier of the Kingdom of Bahrain, to commence the trial of the IATA travel pass starting from May 7th on Gulf Air flights from Bahrain to London, Athens and Singapore. Passengers holding a biometric passport and flying to these destinations will be able to trial the app, which helps passengers easily and securely manage their travel in line with any government requirements requirements for COVID-19 testing or vaccine information. Gulf Air passengers will be able to create a digital passport allowing them to match their travel itineraries with the COVID-19 health requirements of their destination country and validate compliance. Bahrain is one of the first uh, governments to participate in a trial of the IATA or the IATA travel pass with its national carrier to help pave the way for the re-establishment of global connectivity while managing the risk of COVID-19.
The Ministry of Health stressed the importance of taking precautions and non-compliance in adhering to the standards of social distancing and avoiding direct contact as the danger is still present. The Ministry noted that unnecessary gatherings without following precautionary measures causes an increase in the number of existing cases and negatively affects the national efforts to combat the coronavirus. The Ministry of Health revealed that more than 15,000 new existing cases of coronavirus have been registered during the past two weeks, indicating that one of the main reasons for the spread of the infection is failure to adhere to precautionary measures and failure to apply social distancing and direct contact standards during home gatherings, followed, followed by contact in public places and traveling. The ministry noted that the contact tracing process showed an increase in the number of cases in contact with existing cases without adhering to the announced procedures, which, if adhered to, will contribute to reducing the transmission of the infection. The Ministry of Health stresses the importance of disclosing all the information required for the contact tracing team to preserve the safety of everyone, in addition to the need not to be complacent and about following precautionary measures at this stage of dealing with the virus, indicating that serious commitment and taking vaccinations are the two ways to limit the spread of the virus. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 780,000 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while more than 566,000 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 12,693 with 1,030 new recoveries, 1,706 registered new cases and four deaths. 624 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,066 are contacts of active cases and 16 are travel related. The Ministry expresses heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.